morning, LJMS. My name is Daniel. And I'm Suvon, and today is April 11th, and the last Tuesday of quarter three. That's right, folks. Just a few more days, and we are into our final semester. That was fast, don't you think? Now, here are the announcements. Attention, LJMS. Mark your calendars now for the spring musical. Tickets on sale during now, during now on Disney's Descendants runs May 4th, 5th, and 6th. It's going to be an epic show, everyone. Now stay tuned for our video all about Mexican and Italian food. Yum. What's up, LJ? This is Zach. And this is Nadia. Today we will be talking about which is better, Mexican food or Italian food. Personally, I like Mexican food more. No, Italian is way better. Just wait and see. First, we talk about tacos. Mexican immigrants would bring their delicious food with them to work. Tacos were essentially a street food at this time since they were highly portable and cheap. Okay, let's move on to some actually good food. Pasta. The history isn't completely clear because it has moved around so much, but some settlers from Spain eventually brought it to America. It can have so much variety and comes in different shapes and sizes. Whatever, let's get back to Mexican food. Burritos in the 1930s were often shown in restaurants in America. There can be so many fillings for burritos. Meat, tomatoes, onions, peppers, and cheese. Beat that. I will. Pizza is a worldwide favorite. It was brought to America by Italian immigrants in the late 19th century. Before that, pizza was seen in Naples, Italy as an affordable and fast meal for working people. Here's another favorite. Guacamole came to the U.S. all the way back in 1493. Made from mashed avocados, it's popular in recipes as well as dip or spread. And one of the things you could spread it on is ciabatta, a white bread made with olive oil. Baguettes had become popular, so in the 1980s, bakers decided to produce a similar bread. A few years later, it was brought to America. Today, ciabatta is eaten with a variety of delicious toppings. Well, let's move on to dessert. Marble tres leches cake is a popular Mexican dessert found in ev almost every Mexican restaurant and bakery. From World War II, the recipe was written on the outside of Nestle's containers of evaporated and condensed milk and cream. Now, on to the Italian dessert. Gelato. Gelato is a frozen treat from Italy. It was introduced to Americans in 1770. It is healthier, but often overshadowed by ice cream. Wow, that's a lot of information. Yeah, so now let's see what other people in the school prefer. My name is Dima. Do you like Italian food or Mexican food more? I like Italian food. Why is that? Um, because I've eaten more Italian dishes. What's your favorite dish from Italy? Um, probably like uh, pasta. Oh. Hi! This is Nila Mahano. And this is Stacy Jones, the theater arts and media communications teacher here at Luther Jackson. Today, we're talking about Mexican and Italian food. Mm, I like Mexican and Italian food, but I like Italian the best. My favorite is chicken piccata. Oh. Have you ever had that? No, I haven't. It's delicious. Hi, I'm Finn. Hi, I'm Lucas in seventh grade. Do you like Mexican or Italian food more? I like Mexican food more. Why do you like that Mexican food more? I just, I just like the taste. Hi, I'm Allie and I'm here with Tessa. And what grade are you in? Eight. Okay, do you like Italian food or Mexican food better? And which dish from this cuisine is your favorite? Ravioli. What's ah. your name? Puffy. Do you like Italian food or Mexican food better? I like Italian food. What's your favorite dish? Spaghetti. Well, this has been Zach and Nadia. And remember, LJ, we, we roar as one. I totally love both foods, but pizza rules. This has been Daniel and Suvon. And have an awesome day, LJ. And remember... We, we roar as one. one.